Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. Today we're gonna do part two of my review of every Ron platform that is currently out there. So remember, I did a review back in the end of 2020. I'm making an updated version because so many things have changed. And here is part two. So if you haven't seen part one already that released last week, go ahead and check that out. On that one, I reviewed all of the independent platforms. So those are platforms where you can bring your own clients. Today for part two, I'm going to be doing the employer platforms, I'm going to be doing the enterprise platforms, and I'm going to be discussing the hybrid platforms in that order. So just to kind of break it down, employer or contractor platforms or platforms where you jump on the platform and they provide you the clients. And they can do that via an on-demand way or a scheduled shift way. Companies do it a little bit differently, which we'll go into. And then the enterprise side are really platforms you can only use when an enterprise client of that platform assigns you work. So for example, let's say you sign up for a platform and you are working with XYZ title company, they may sign you work directly through that platform, but otherwise if they're not assigning you work, you're not able to use that platform. So you can't bring your own clients onto it. The platform itself is not assigning you any clients, just the company that you are working directly with. And then the third one, of course, is hybrid. So hybrid platforms typically are a combination of all of the things. So sometimes they allow you to bring your own clients. Sometimes they'll provide you clients. Sometimes they also act as an enterprise type of platform. So just consider it the best of both worlds. So we're gonna go into those platforms today. I think you'll like this one because the number one question I get is, which platforms can provide me clients? I only want platforms that can provide me clients. So we'll talk about some of those today. Some you've heard about before, some you probably haven't. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first platform we have to go through is Online Notary. Dot net. Now this is a platform that I reviewed the first time I did these reviews and it looks like not too much has changed. So let's just go ahead and reiterate what the platform is all about. And I do have my computer, so if you see me looking down, I'm just looking down at my computer. So first things first with online notary dot, uh, dot net. For pricing, they say that their notaries can make up to $25 an hour. And there's opportunities to earn both nights and weekends, which is great, especially if you're somebody like me who you know has a day job then at least you have the opportunity to earn after you're done with your normal nine to five. Now, as far as availability, they're hiring notaries in 22 states, which I will not list out, but I'll go ahead and just throw those on the screen. So let's go ahead and just talk pros and cons of onlinenotary.net. So I think the biggest pro is when you work for them, you can either be a 1099 contractor or you can be a W-2 employee, right? So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So you can either be a contractor or you can actually work directly for the company as a W-2 employee, getting benefits, getting these things. How they work out the split, I'm not sure, but I do know that they have a combination of both. In addition, they give you things like the digital certificate and they set you up and all of that. Um, and another pro that I really like is that you're working a scheduled shift. So no matter what you're getting paid, this is a little bit different than some other platforms that give you clients because on the other platforms that give you clients, typically you only get paid for the work that you do. In this case, you're paid hourly, right? So even if you're working a nine to five shift and let's say you only get three signings or whatever the case may be, you're still getting paid for those hours. So that can be a good and bad thing. And we'll go into that a little bit more in the cons, but that is still there. Um, so I do consider that a pro. Now, something that's a con for a platform like this is one, it says you can make up to $25 an hour, which means if it's up to, there's always the potential that you make less. From what I hear, they have people who do more general notary work for them and then people who do loan signings. And the people who are doing the loan signings are the ones making more of the $25 an hour. The people who are doing the general notary work are working more like $17 per hour, etc. Now, as a notary, that's not the most, you know, I'll be honest, because in a state like Washington, I can charge $25 per seal for general notary work. So I can get one document, one seal, and make $25. In this case, the most you're going to make is $25 an hour. So the earning potential is capped, right? To a, to a large degree, and the earning potential that you can make is relatively small in comparison to what you can make just kind of going out on your own. But I will say the benefit is you didn't have to find the client, you're getting paid hourly no matter what, you get to work from home. Um, so there are some benefits to work with that, but just something to definitely keep in mind. So the next platform we have to talk about is a new one. Well, new to me at the very least, and it's called Exela RN. Now, how the platform kind of operates is a little bit differently than some other platforms that may bring you clients. 
So in this case, they state that the customer can request you based on your availability. So it's almost like a almost like a database in some way. It looks like what you do is you upload where you're commissioned at, rather that's one state, multiple states, however many commissions that you have. You put your availability, and if somebody is requesting a notary, they can go on, see your availability, select that day and time, and they will be assigned to you. Now, what they state, and I'll just read this directly, is you will receive compensation based on the line of business requiring the notarization, and best of all, they will bring the clients to you. So based on the line of business, is really how much you'll get paid per seal. So it is zero dollars to actually get set up with them. So you're not paying anything to get set up with them, which is pretty typical for customers or for platforms that are going to bring you clients. But when they do pay you out based on line of business, they said you can expect to make $10 for your first seal and one for each additional, which honestly for a platform that's bringing you clients isn't bad. Now, if you've been an independent notary before, you've always only brought your own clients, then you're probably thinking like $10 is low. But for platforms that bring you clients, that's honestly higher than the majority of them. And you'll see that as we go through the video. Now, there are some pros and cons that go with that, but let's talk availability first. So, it's available in 25 states, which I will not read out. <laughs> I'll go ahead and just set them on the screen, but it is available in 25 states, which is also very good when it comes to a platform that gives you clients. So let's go ahead and talk pros and cons. So when it comes to pros and cons, just a few things that I actually really like. First things first is that it pays you $10 for the first seal. What you'll notice is that a lot of times when platforms give you clients, they pay you $5 for the first seal and one for each additional. In this case, they're paying $10 for the first seal, which honestly really isn't bad when you didn't have to do the legwork to get the clients in the first place. The second thing I like is that it's available in 25 states. Because one thing you'll notice when it comes to platforms that give you clients, they try to limit it, right? Because the thing is you want volume and you want notaries to stay on your platform by giving them volume. And so the less states that you have it available in, the more likely that the notaries that are on your platform are getting a decent amount of work to keep them engaged. But in this case, it's available in 25 states. So this is probably one of the only platforms where you'll find the ability to get clients in a lot of these states that you're in, especially like your New York, your New Jersey, things like that where you don't typically see it. At least now you have a platform that can give you clients. And then I also like, and dislike a little bit, but I do like, that it's tied to your availability. So as a notary, you'll say, you know, I'm available Monday through Friday, nine to five, whatever your availability is. So you know that when somebody books you, they're only booking you for a time that you said you're available to. So it's good because if there's times that you're not available, you can go ahead and just take that off your like calendar. Or if you all of a sudden can work weekends and you're freed up, you can go ahead and put that on. So I do like that it allows you to kind of play around with your schedule and your availability. Now, there definitely are some cons, at least from what I'm seeing from the outside, so let's go through those. Okay, so there's two main cons that I see with this platform. So, it's less on-demand, right? So, if you see some of these platforms that provide you clients, it's on-demand. So, think about it like you just go onto the app, and as calls come in, you have to sit there and kind of take them, which I like because you get a lot more volume with that. In this case, because it's tied to your availability, somebody may book you today for tomorrow, they may book you for next week, they may book you for whatever this day. So it's just less of like, okay, I just pop onto this app and I know I'm gonna get all these calls. It's kind of scheduled out. So it's gonna be, I guess, a little fewer and far between if I had to guess. And then the second thing when it comes to the con is it's only tied to your state. So what it says on the website is, you know, you upload what state you're commissioned in. And if somebody in that state needs a notary, you will show up as an option which I don't love. Main thing is because as Iran, it's like one of the biggest pros of being Iran, is you can notarize documents for people not only in the state that you're commissioned in, but in any state. So the fact that it's limited doesn't always make sense to me. I mean, I understand that there's some documents that need to be signed by a notary in the state where the document is being executed at, but that's not for all of them, that's not for a lot of them. And so I wish there was that flexibility to be able, for me as the notary, to be seen for people in any state and not just the state. Because if I'm, in, if I'm in a smaller state, maybe a less tech savvy state, then you're just not going to get as much business. You know what I mean? So that's one of the things that's a little bit disappointing, but still for a $0 setup fee and $10 per seal, worth trying out. Okay, so next we have to get into the enterprise platform. So I wanna reiterate the definition before we go into a few platforms, just to make sure you understand. So enterprise platforms are platforms where you can only use the platform when a company who is partnered with that platform 
assigns you work through it. So for example, the first platform I'm talking about is Pavasso. If I work, if I sign up on Pavasso, the only way I would ever get an assignment is if a title company that I'm getting assignments through is also using Pavasso to assign me remote online signings, if that makes sense. So let's say I'm working with One Republic and they want to give me a loan signing. They notice I work with Pavasso, so they're going to send my loan signing straight to Pavasso. I'll hop onto my account and then I can do the notarization. Now, if the person who I'm working with is not assigning me work, then there's nothing that I can use Pavasso for. It's not a platform where me as an independent notary can just bring my own clients onto, that availability is not there. And Pavasso itself is not going to be providing me any clients. So that's kind of how it works. You can only use it when an enterprise client of that platform is assigning you work directly to it. And I just wanted to make sure I reiterated that because it could be a little bit confusing. Okay, so since we're already talking about Pavasso, let's just go ahead and let's start with that one. Now, Pavasso is a company that's been around for a long time. I know it's like one of the first ones that I signed up with when I got started. Now, the way it kind of works is you do have to pay a fee to join Pavasso, which honestly really isn't all that common when it comes to a lot of these enterprise platforms. But in this case, it is. So it's a $99 setup fee when you're like first getting onto the platform and you have to be what they call Pavasso certified to use it. So honestly, it's very easy. All you do is you take this like questionnaire, you watch a training video, you take this quiz, you pass the quiz, you're Pavasso certified. Now it takes all of maybe 30 minutes to go through that total process and then you're on. Now after that first year, there is a $50 annual fee to continue to use the platform. So that's those fees. There's no transaction fee or there's no like monthly fee or anything like that. Set up fee, then an annual fee after the fact. Now, when it comes to availability, it's available in the majority of states that have permanent run laws, and they have this nice little map that I'll flash on the screen to show you where it is currently available at. Now, with this platform, there's definitely some pros and cons, so let's go ahead and let's talk pros and cons. So the biggest pro when it comes to Pavasso is they list out the companies that already work with them. So like I said, enterprise platform is only beneficial if you're working with a company that uses that enterprise platform, right? If you're working with a company that uses Pavasso. In this case, when you go on their page, it'll list out every single company that is currently using Pavasso. So you don't need to guess which ones it is. You can go ahead, look at that list, reach out to those companies directly. A lot of times they will have an ability for signing agents to um, sign up directly through that platform. And then that way you can kind of start getting business or at least know which direction to go because there are a number of signing services, a number of signing databases, a number of different places you can go, title escrow companies, et cetera. And it would be really hard to know exactly which one uses Pavasso. So at least they're giving you a place to start, which I like. Now, when it comes to cons, a couple things. I think one con of course is that you can't use the platform otherwise, which is not a con of Pavasso, that's just a con of enterprise platforms. If you're not working with the client, that uses that pl platform, it's useless. So my suggestion when it comes to enterprise platforms, not just Pavasso, but anyone, unless a company is already asking you to use that platform, you don't necessarily need to sign up for it, especially if it has a fee. Like I would actually avoid signing up with Pavasso until you find yourself in a position to where, you know, a company is like, hey, you know, we wanna give you signings, but do you have Pavasso in order for us to do it? If that's the case, go ahead and get signed up because you can get signed up in all of 30 minutes, right? It's very quick, but I don't want you necessarily spending money if you don't need that platform. So just keep that in mind. And then the other con is you do have to purchase your digital certificate directly through them. At least last time I went through it, I did. Um, and that's a con because a lot of times if you've been doing RON for a minute, you already have a digital certificate. So you don't necessarily want to purchase two. Okay, so the next platform we have to talk about was one that took a long time for me to wrap my head around, but it's something that I had seen on YouTube. I'd seen a few of you guys mention it in the comments, and that is Doc Magic. Now, Doc Magic, in summary, is essentially just an end-to-end e-mortgage solution. So what they do, they do document creation, e-sign, and of course, they have a remote online notary platform. But it's a little confusing about how exactly you as a notary interact with it, how you use it, how you get signed up at all. So let me try to break it down as best I possible as best as I possibly can, assuming I also know what I'm talking about. So essentially, Doc Magic has partnered with a company called Secure Insights to be able to provide them notaries to help with e-closings. Now, what Secure Insights is, is Secure Insights is a company that does risk assessments on mortgage professionals 
for lenders and consumers. So essentially the whole idea is that, you know, a lot of times when you're buying or selling a house, you're just provided title companies, escrow officers, officers, lawyers, notaries, that you as a consumer have not vetted. These are just random people that somebody told you you, you, sh you should use. And in a lot of those cases, what they're finding is they're running into like fraud and just people who could be harmful to you and your money and your information because they're just random. So Secure Insights goes and does risk assessments on people like lawyers, on title companies, on escrow officers, you know, on notaries, and is able to provide those risk assessments to lenders and to consumers so they know that you are vetted and you are good, you're a good person to handle what they need you to handle. And so the way it works is Doc Magic is almost like a database. All they are is they're a database of vetted notaries that have gone through Secure Insights risk assessment. So that way when lenders and consumers need a notary, they know that they can go to Doc Magic, they can see a list of notaries, and those notaries that are on there are going to be great ones for them because they've already gone through that assessment. So that's what it is in summary. So really it seems like the only way that you can use the platform is to get vetted through Secure Insights and then get put onto Doc Magic, which is Doc Magic is the one that has the platform, and then now you're available within their database if a lender or consumer wants you. It doesn't look like there's like direct, you know, companies that necessarily use Secure Insights or Doc Magic. It just looks like your name will then be in a database and available if for whatever reason somebody wants you. So I know this is just now kind of launching in the beginning of this year. I haven't really seen what the volume is like as far as people reaching out and asking if you want to notarize any documents for them, but it is, free to sign up, which we'll go through. So maybe worth it all the same. So let's go ahead and kind of get into it. Now, when it comes to getting signed up, there are some fees, but they do have discount codes to essentially waive those fees. So first things first, when you're trying to get signed up, you have to actually log in to a Secure Insight account, because again, Secure Insight is the one who's gonna do the risk assessment. So Secure Insight, in order to get registered through them, and to get your like all your background checks and everything else that they wanna do, it is $399, which is hefty. But Doc Magic provides a discount code to essentially waive that complete fee, and I will flash that on the screen, and of course put that in the description if that's something that you're looking to do. So you'll go, you'll get registered, you need to upload your commission, you need to upload your insurance, you need to upload everything else about your, your electronic notarial seal, and then they'll go through this long process, I think it's anywhere from like one to 10 business days, to go ahead and vet you to make sure that you're all good. And I'm sure they look at a lot of things like, you know, your history. Well, I know they go through like a background check. They probably look at your history as a notary just to make sure that you're all good to go. And these are ongoing checks. So once you sign up through Secure Insight, it's not like they're only doing a risk assessment on you one time. It's 24 seven checks. So if all of a sudden you get something against your commission, that'll definitely pop up and that'll definitely be reiterated with your name in the database. So that's just something to keep in mind. But once you've gone through the Secure Insights vetting process, from there, there's actually a training for Doc Magic's platform. Now that training is $29.99, but again, Doc Magic provides you a code to go ahead and waive that training fee. And once you're done with the training, now you can officially start using Doc Magic's platform. You'll officially be in their database, and now you're officially available for people to come and ask for you in terms of like doing their loan signings, et cetera. So that is essentially how it works. If you're confused, I don't blame you. It took me a really long time to figure out what the heck was going on. So if you're confused, I'll try to break down the steps on the screen to make it a little bit easier. So as far as availability, it doesn't really say exactly where it's available at because when it comes to Doc Magic as a platform in its own, I haven't seen it listed on any state's website, so it's kind of hard to say like where exactly it's available at, but I know that anybody, any notary, any Ron can get signed up through Secure Insights, and I would imagine that means any Ron can get signed up on Doc Magic. But I think it's important to just make sure that you always check with your state to make sure that it would qualify prior to going through this process. The last thing you wanna do is go through this long process only to not use the platform. So just double check with your state on this one. Now, pros and cons. I do think there's a pro for going through the Secure Insights vetting process, right? Because I think that says a lot about you. If you've gone through the process, you have paperwork that says that, hey, you're good to go, you're trusted, 
you can use that for anybody, right? Like you can say, hey, I've been through Secure Insights, they've vetted me, they vouch for me. That's something that's not only beneficial with Doc Magic's platform, but just with anybody as you're going out and reaching out directly to these, you know, title and escrow companies and signing services. So I do think that's a pro. As far as a con goes, I don't necessarily love that Doc Magic is more like a database and less like a traditional enterprise platform that's working with specific companies. It's kind of just there just in case anybody wants to use a remote online notary and less of we know these direct clients are coming to us to use remote online notary. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, so the next platform we have to talk about is Nexus ClearSign. Now that's another one that's been out for a long time. I've heard amazing things about this platform in terms of just general UI and how easy it is to use and how easy it is to function. Now next to ClearSign is now being powered by Amrock, which Amrock is a signing service, but that's fine. It doesn't, it hasn't really changed anything. Even if you're not directly with Amrock, you can still use Nexus ClearSign. And the good thing about it is it's free to sign up. It's free to sign up and not only that, it takes like 20 seconds to create an account and get all of your information in there. So I will of course leave links on how to sign up directly with Nexus ClearSign. Now, as far as availability goes, it's available in the majority of states that have permanent RON laws. Like I said, this is a platform that's been around for a really long time. A lot of companies use it. So it is available in most of those states. Now, with that being said, that plays into a lot of the pros. So Nexus ClearSign is a platform that is used by SnapDocs, which is a signing database, if you didn't know. So it's also used by the signing service AMROC, which is also a really big signing service. Those are two places that I recommend signing up for if you haven't already signed up, and I will leave links in the description for you to be able to do it. But a pro of it is that some of the biggest players in the game when it comes to uh, providing you with loan signings are directly partnered with this platform. So like I said, enterprise platforms are only as beneficial as the people that use it, as the enterprise companies that use it. In this case, some of the biggest ones that you'll use as a loan signing agent do use this platform. So that is a good thing. And I strongly suggest if you're not already signed up with SnapDocs, not already signed up with Amrock, go ahead and try to get signed up. And when it comes to cons, really there is no major cons for this platform. It's free to sign up, it's easy to use, and it's used by some of the biggest people. So like I said, of all the enterprise platforms to go ahead and sign up with, just so you have one available, this is the one I would sign up with. I'm gonna just put that out there. But let's go ahead and let's move in to the hybrid platform. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get into the hybrid platforms, which for me are some of my like favorite categories of platforms, because remember, Hybrid is a, a do-it-all type of platform. They allow you to bring your clients, they give you clients, maybe they also act as an enterprise platform. So if you have a hybrid platform available in your state, 1000% try to sign up. But let's go ahead and just start with the first one. Let's talk Notary Cam to begin with. So Notary Cam used to only be a platform that gave you clients. And recently, I wanna say at the NNA conference, I found out that they also added an independent part of their platform. So let's start with the independent part and then let's go into the contractor part of it. So when it comes to the independent part of their platform, there's a few prerequisites before you can even sign up. So first things first, you need to make sure you have a current background check done within the last year, I wanna say. You, wanna, you need to have proof of $100,000 errors in emissions insurance, which if you are a Ron who does loan signings, more likely than not you already have errors in emissions insurance, but you need to make sure that if you don't, you have to get it if you are looking to use this platform on the independent side. And you do need to already have your digital certificate and electronic tutorial seal prior to signing up. Now, as far as costs go, there is a $99 signup fee. It is also $15 a month, $15 for the first seal with a $52.50 max fee per transaction. It is five additional dollars if you need to ID proof three or more signers and a $5 minimum transaction fee per signer. So <laughs> fees wise, I don't love the fees, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and get into that when we get to the cons. Let's just talk availability. So as far as availability goes, I would imagine that it's available in most states with permanent wrong laws, but one thing to be careful of. So when I was going through, cause I had like tried to sign up just to see what it looks like. I tried to sign up before it asked me to pay. But um, one of the things is when you go down to drop down where you have your commission at, it does allow you to select states that don't have permanent wrong laws. Like you could technically 
put California and then sign completely up and pay and all of that. And clearly Ron is not in California. So I wanna make sure that you're cautious of that and don't go through the full setup process until you actually know if it's available in your state. Because the last thing I want you to do is sign up at a state that it's not allowed in and then now you're trying to figure out a way to get your money back. So that's the only thing to be cautious of. I actually would ask your state first to make sure it's approved prior to signing up for their independent platform because it doesn't look like there's any safeguards preventing you from signing up if it's not available in your state. Let's talk pros and cons though. When it comes to the pros, one thing that I saw that I really liked is there's the ability to add additional attendees to the session who aren't necessarily the signers. So you'll see this with some platforms where it's like you can invite somebody who just wants to watch as the signing is being done or somebody who's not necessarily acting as a witness, just somebody who's kind of in the room. They're not signing anything. They don't need to say anything. They're just there to observe. So there is that ability. Now, cons though, I think the biggest thing is the fees are very high, which means leads me to believe this platform is really only meant for loan signings. Like $15 per seal is very high for an independent platform that you would do general and notary work on. So I don't think this platform is actually intended for general and notary work. And I would say that the prerequisites that you need prior to even get signed up makes me, makes me feel like this is definitely only for loan signings. Like the fact that you need to show your background check, $100,000 E&O, like they wouldn't do that if this was meant really for general and notary work. So I would say only use this platform if you're looking to bring loan signings on it. If you're not and you're just looking for a good general notary work, platform, this isn't the one that I would choose, quite frankly, because uh, the fees are just a little too high. But of course, always your decision, just my suggestion. So let's go ahead and go into the contractor or employer side of the platform. Okay, so when it comes to notary cams, employer or a contractor side of the platform, it's definitely a little bit different. So there's a $0 sign up fee to go ahead and get started on the platform. And from what I hear, and they're very tight lipped when it comes to how much they pay out, they will pay you $25 for a closing or $5 for a partial. So think about it this way, they're gonna pay you $25 for a loan signing, but there's, if there's only one or two documents within the package that need to be signed, they'll just pay you $5 for that partial closing. Sounds low, but honestly, it's pretty typical with platforms that do provide you clients. So when it comes to availability, that's where it gets a little bit funky because they're hiring for both loan signing agents and for people to do general notary work. And for general notary work, they're looking for people to do the day shift and the overnight shift. So let's just start with loan signings first. So if you wanna sign up for a loan signing agent, they are hiring in these states that I will flash on the screen. So one thing to keep in mind for notary cam is it's a very formal application process, right? Like with some of these other companies that provide you clients, you just go through the steps, right? You go, you log on, you upload your credentials, they verify your credentials and then you're on the platform within one or two days. This works a little bit more like an application. So you go, you put your credentials, you put your experience, you kind of write a blurb about yourself. This feels like more like filling out a job application and they absolutely prefer notaries that have experience. So you have to have been a notary for at least a year and you have to have been doing RON for at least three months. So this is definitely a platform that leans a lot more heavily into experienced notaries. And of course you need an up-to-date background check, $100,000 of errors and emissions insurance. So it's a little bit more to get up and started with the contractor side of this platform. And one thing they say, which makes sense, is they don't guarantee any amount of volume or minimum work. So even if you get signed up with them, and even though this is a more formal process, they're saying that we do not guarantee you anything. You can get signed up with us. If you get a lot of work, great. If you don't, you don't. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, the interesting thing though, the thing that I like is they also have that ability for general notary work. So like I said, there's like a day shift and an overnight shift. The day shift is a little bit longer than a day. What it is is 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. shift. And then there is an 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift. And they're only hiring them in certain states. So I'll flash this on the screen, but I'll also talk through them. So for general notary work, the day shift, like I said, is 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern time, and that's in Virginia, Florida, Missouri, Montana, Utah, and Pennsylvania. And then the overnight shift is in those same states, but that's 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Eastern time. Now, I kind of like that they have general notary work as an option because a lot of time it's only loan signings, but like, honestly, when you're first starting out, maybe you do just want to start out with general notary work, right? Or maybe you don't, you're not a certified signing agent. Maybe you don't wanna do loan signings at all, but at least there's a still way for you to be able to get some of that work. So those are the two shifts that you can sign up with. 
for general notary work perspective. And again, I will put those states. Keep in mind the states that they're hiring for loan signing agents are not exactly all of the states that they're hiring for general notary work. So just make sure that you keep that in mind when you go ahead and apply. So pros and cons, I kind of already mentioned them. I, got, I jumped the gun a lot when I came to talking the pros and cons, but the pros are there is a very formal training on the platform, which I like. And I also like that this ability for somebody to sign up to do loan signings or do general notary work. Cause like I said, it's, it's rare that you get those like options very explicitly. And sometimes you don't necessarily want to do loan signing. So I like that there's an option to do general notary work. Now from a cons perspective, the biggest con I think is that they only are taking experienced ROMs, which I get, and I can understand why they want to do that. But when you're first starting out, like you want a platform that's going to give you clients in order to kind of get your feet wet. So it's unfortunate that you won't have that with this platform. Okay, so the next platform we have to talk about is one I imagine you guys have been waiting for me to talk about, and that is Notarize. So if you don't know, Notarize has three sides to its platform. Its enterprise side, which they consider in-house notaries. It has its independent side, which they call notary source transaction side. And then it has its contractor side, which they consider on-demand side. So we'll start with the enterprise side, we'll go into independent, we'll talk contractor, so let's talk enterprise. So for the enterprise side, when it comes to uh, pricing and fees, zero dollars to sign up, zero dollars monthly, um, no setup fee, anything like that. Now, when you actually get paid out, of course the company who assigned you the loan signing will be the one that's paying you directly. However, you guys have negotiated that. So again, Notarize is not paying you, they're not providing you any clients. Whoever is assigning you the work, whatever company you're working with, they will pay you directly. Now, when it comes to availability for this platform, it's available in 23 states. So if you are working with a company that wants to use you and they use Notarize as their platform, it's available for notaries in 23 states that I'll go ahead and just flash on the screen. Now, when it comes to like pros and cons, when it comes to a platform like this, really isn't any major pros and cons. I mean, I think a pro, of course, it's free. It's easy to sign up. Another pro is Snapdocs also uses Notarize. I know they've also recently partnered. So again, another major company or major signing database player in the game is using them. So I do consider that a pro. As far as cons, I don't consider any cons currently because at the end of the day, it's a free platform. You're really working directly with that other company. And Notarize, I know, always has pretty good training when it comes to their platform. So you should be taken care of as far as how to use the platform. So that's the enterprise side. So we have to talk the independent side of their platform. So their platform right now, the independent side, the notary source transaction side, the side that allows you to bring your own clients is 100% free, like completely free. No monthly fee, no transaction fee, no any setup fee, no any fee right now. And you as a notary are still able to charge whatever fee you want. All you need to do is make sure, of course, you have your credentials, you have your commission, you have your, um, you need $25,000 errors and emissions insurance though to sign up for Notarize. So that's something to keep in mind. But all you have to do is get set up with the platform and there are zero fees right now. This is however, a promotional period. So them not charging you any fees will not last forever. They're doing it because they can, but they acknowledge that once the year is done, they will of course add on fees again and whatever fees they add on, they will be cognizant of the fact that you know, they want to make sure notaries can make as much as possible, so they'll try to keep those fees low. But as of now to the end of the year, there are zero fees, so I see no reason why you would not start to use this platform. Where is it available? So it is available in, I think, 13 states. It used to only be available in two states, which was Washington and Tennessee. And in the past few months, six months or so, they expanded it to be available in 13 states. Some states, which are states that like often don't get love from platforms, are now involved in this one. So I love that. Definitely check it out, especially if it is in your state, especially since it's free. Go ahead and get on it. Now, when it comes to pros and cons, there are a lot of pros for a platform that is completely free. So let's go ahead and go into it. First things first, Notarize has a very comprehensive training. I've been on the Notarize platform before. Like I said, when this first launch was available in Washington and Tennessee. So as soon as it came to Washington, I started using it. And so it has very comprehensive training self-paced onboarding, like you should be good to go with how to use the platform once you're all done. Another pro, it's free. Like, of course, that is a pro to be acknowledged. They do provide you a free uh, electronic tutorial seal if you do not already have one. And another thing that I like that they just added is there's compliance checklist. So a lot of states, like when I was commissioned in Colorado, 
the states have like certain things that you have to say or do prior to the signing starting, prior to it ending, things like that. In this case, they'll have a checklist that essentially makes sure that you can't end the signing until you've done all of these things, which just makes it like, it's a good to me value add to make sure that you're not missing any steps prior to ending the signing. So that will be there and available and that compliance checklist will be specific to your state. So I do like that addition. Okay, so from a cons perspective, this is kind of two things for me. One, the promo period won't last forever, which is a little bit of a cop out. Like that's not a fair con because who expects them to never charge ever? But then the second one is like, I'm 99%, okay, I'm 97% sure that you can't do loan signings on this side of the platform. Reason I say that is when I first signed up for the platform, in the terms of service that you had to like sign prior to going in, every now and again, I'll read the terms of service. In this case, I did. It says that you're not supposed to be doing loan signings on this side of the platform. Now, I never heard them change that back. So from what I know, you still can't necessarily do loan signings. So that's something to keep in mind. And then also when you're looking through the comparisons, like what the notary source transaction side offers versus what the enterprise and on-demand side, side offers, and you kind of look through what it doesn't have, a lot of things it doesn't have are things that are tied to loan signings. So don't quote me on it, but I'm almost positive you're not supposed to be doing loan signings on this side of the platform. If I can find more information, I absolutely will, but just something to keep in mind, and if that is the case, which I think it is, that is a con. Now the last side of Notarize is the contractor side or their on-demand side, where they provide you clients. So when it comes to just general payouts and fees and things like that, $0 to sign up, $0 monthly fee. In this case, they will pay you, if you're doing general notary work, they'll pay you $5 for the first seal, $1 for each additional. And if you're doing a loan signing, they will pay you $25 for that loan signing. Again, everybody's always gonna say, well, that seems so low. Keep in mind, you did not have to do the legwork. They provided the clients to you. You just had to take the call. So yes, it's low, but at the end of the day, you know, you didn't have to go and find your own client. So of course you can always get paid more if you find your own client, but that comes with its own hurdles, hassle and headache. So that's just something to kind of, just keep that perspective in mind as you kind of think through those fees. Now, one of the things to keep in mind though, in order to get signed up for this platform, you do need to be an NNA certified signing agent. So you do need to be certified signing agent through the NNA. You do need to have $25,000 um, errors in admissions insurance and you do need to pass some sort of like training and onboarding assessment so you will do this assessment to make sure that you understand the platform you know what you're doing prior to getting on the platform i have never been on this side of the platform because it's not available in any state that i've ever been commissioned in but other people have and i have heard that some people have had trouble passing that assessment and i believe you only get a certain amount of time to try to pass it otherwise you're unable to use that platform so that's just something to keep in mind now, from an availability standpoint, it's only available in four states. That's Texas, Florida, Nevada, and Virginia. Those are the same four states that they've been available in for the longest time. So I don't know if it's going to be available in any other state. I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, it's been years since it's been available in those same four states. So I'd be surprised if they're going to be adding any more anytime soon. If they are, they'll probably add like one or two at a time. I can't imagine a world where they go ahead and just you know, open it like floodgates. Now, as far as pros and cons, for me, the biggest pros of this platform are, one, it's the most on-demand platform that you're going to get out of all of them. Like they easily have the highest volume of work than any other platform. Now, I'm not gonna say you're gonna get on here, be booked and busy, be busy all the time, because that's not gonna be the case. And I'll talk about that a little bit in the cons, but of all platforms, they 1000% have the most volume and that's because they really emphasize and prioritize their corporate partnerships right their enterprise partnerships getting some of these bigger players in here so then that way they're constantly having requests come in and it's something that's available 24 7 right so if you want to pop on and take notarizations at 3 a.m take them at 3 a.m if you want to pop on and take them at 5 p.m take them at 5 p.m so i love that it's kind of always available and there's always that opportunity to get business and like i said there is a very thorough training when it comes to the ability to use this platform now when it comes to cons though one of the biggest cons that i've heard from people who have used this platform frequently is you have to be really quick when it comes to accepting calls so like i said you're kind of sitting in a queue and when a call comes through you have to click it in order to be the person who takes that call now it's a game right because there's a lot of notaries out there who all want these calls who all want this business and if you're not right on it at the right second you're going to miss out on that call so yeah you can sit there for an hour and calls coming through and you never be the person who gets it because you're just not quick enough to get it so that is a con for sure 
And then the second thing that I would consider a con is that there is a general notary work queue and then there's more of like the business queue. Now everybody starts off from what I hear in the general notary work one. So that's where you get like $5 for the first deal, $1 for the additional. And then as you've kind of, you know, got experience, you've gotten good reviews, you've shown that you know what you're doing, then they'll move you onto the business queue where you can do loan signings, but you do not start there. So you'll start with just the $5 per seal, $1 for additional, before you're able to get to a point where you do loan signings. So that's just something to keep in mind. But overall, Notarize, I speak highly of Notarize. I think they're a great platform. I think they do a lot of things well. And because there's three different sections for you to be able to kind of interact with the platform, enterprise, independent contractor, there's a lot of different ways to use it. So if you haven't already checked it out, go ahead and check it out. So the next platform I want to talk about is Blue Notary. Now this is a platform that I've done a dedicated video on before, so I will link that somewhere for you to be able to see it if you want a more in-depth review. Blue Notary has two sides of the platform. It has the uh, free general notary work side and it has the pro hybrid side. So we're going to start with the free general notary work side and then we'll move to the pro hybrid side. First things first, it's called free general notary work side because the platform is completely free and it's there for general notary work. So keep in mind for this platform, there's no sign up fee, there's no setup fee, there's no transaction fee, and it's only there to be able to do general notary work. So no loan signings on this platform. So the way that it works is when you bring a client onto the platform, you will get paid $25 for the first seal and $4 for that additional seal. So this is the side of the platform where you are bringing on your own clients, they are not providing clients, and they will pay you out $25 for that first seal and $4 for the additional. So kind of like I was talking about with Cyberize It, this is one of those cases where it really doesn't matter what your state allows you to charge because the platform is the one charging the client. So even if your state only allows you to charge $10 for the first seal, it doesn't matter. Um, Blue Notary is the one that's paying you out, so they're going to pay you $25 for that first seal regardless of what your state is allowing you to charge because you are not the one charging the client in this case, which I really like. Now, when it comes to availability, they are available in these states that I'll go ahead and I will just put on the screen, and they're pending in a subset of states as well that I will also put on the screen. Let's go ahead and let's talk pros and cons. Of course, a pro is it's completely free. Uh, which is always a good pro and that no matter what your state allows you to charge, you will always make at least $25. So again, $25 for the first sale, four for the additional. I also like during this early adopter time because the platform is relatively new. I think it launched, was that three months ago? Whenever I launched that video it was like shortly after the platform launched. But during this promotional period, they're giving you a free digital certificate and a free seal. So a digital certificate at the very least is around $60. At the most it's like $190, $150. So you are getting a free digital certificate and a free seal, which I think is a huge pro. From a cons from this side point, you can't charge the client whatever you want and you can't do loan signings on this side of the platform. So this side of the platform, again, because it's free, you do not have the ability to adjust those charges and you don't have the ability to do loan signing. So those are the cons for the free general notary work side of the platform. So let's go ahead and talk the pro hybrid side of Blue Notary. So kind of like the name entails, this is the side that allows you to bring on clients, but you can also help their clients. Now this one does have a fee, it's $27 a month. And with that, you get everything that the free general notary work side gives you, but you also have the ability to, of course, help their clients and charge custom fees and do loan signing. So let's dig into that a little bit more. So when it comes to bringing your own client on the platform, if you're bringing them on to do general notary work, it'll still default to that $25 for the first deal for, for the additional, but you of course can adjust that price or you can charge a client off platform instead of on platform if you'd like. When it comes to doing loan signings, the default payout is $125 for you, but again, you can adjust that cost if you want it higher or you can charge your client off platform if for whatever reason you just wanna handle that separately. So again, you still get that same $25 for the first seal when on the pro hybrid side, and you get $125 for that loan signing, but if you want to add some custom fees or change that, you do have the ability to do that. Now, let's talk what they pay you if you are helping their client. So if they bring a client to you, they will give you $30 if it is a loan signing. And the funny thing is, if it's actually general notary work, they're still gonna pay you that same $25 for the first deal and four for the additional, at least for right now. So for right now, they say they're not going to change how much they pay you for the first deal or for additional when it comes to general notary work. So like when you like 
And then look at them side by side, like how much they're paying you a loan signing versus how much they're paying you for a general notary work. It's only $5 difference, but just keep in mind that that $25 for the first deal is not going to last forever. It's just something that they're doing as they're spinning up. So you'll get paid $30 for a loan signing and for right now, $25 minimum for that general notary work, which is really good. At that point, I'm like, just give me the general notary work if you're paying me darn near the same thing. And it's a lot shorter of the transaction. But anyways, that is what they'll pay so you. As far as availability goes, it's the same as with the free general notary work side, right? It's available in these states that are reflashed on the screen and pending in these states, which are also reflashed on the screen. So availability doesn't change from the free general notary work side to the pro hybrid side. But let's talk pros and cons. So when it comes to pros, there's a few things that I really like. I really love the fact that they're paying you a lot of money for general notary work when you take to the client. It's like $25 for the first deal to take a general notary work client that was provided to you that I didn't have to find is like unheard of, which I know won't last forever, but still that's really high. I also love that they give you a free digital certificate and seal because again, that's just ultimate savings that you'll get just right from the beginning because those things do cost money. And then I also like the fact, of course, that you can bring your own clients or you can get theirs. Now, from a cons perspective, one of the things that I've heard just talking to a few people that do use Blue Notary is that they don't necessarily have the volume yet when it comes to providing new clients, right? It's a newer platform. Again, it's only been around for three or four months, but from what I've heard is the volume is not super high right now. And because the volume is not high, and there's a lot of people on the platform. When a call does come through, it's, it can be really hard to be the person who ends up getting it because everybody's kind of waiting on it. So you have to be quick with it, otherwise you're going to miss it. So that's just something to keep in mind. So the last platform we have to talk about is Notary Live. Now this is a platform that I talked about when I first did this video as well. And it looks like as far as like pricing and fees and structure, not too much has changed. So I'm going based off of what I already knew. So don't like quote me on some of these prices, but I'm like 99% sure this is already correct. So this is one of those platforms where you can bring your own client and depending on what tier you are, you have the ability to help their clients as well. So we'll get into the tiers in a second. But as far as cost goes, it's a $0 sign up, $0 setup fee, $0 transaction fee in a way. The actual way it works is you get $10 per document notarized, regardless of if you're bringing your own client or if you're helping one of theirs. So if you, get, if you bring your client and you're doing three notarizations, with them within that same transaction or with that same document, you will get paid $10 no matter what, which, you know, I don't necessarily love, but whatever, we'll get into that when it comes to the pros and cons. Or if you're helping one of their clients, you will get $10 per document notarized, no matter how many seals are on that document. So that's how the payout works. Now your ability to bring your own clients and help their own is based off these tiers. So let's read through the tiers a little bit. So there is a bronze, silver, gold, and platinum tier. So when it comes to bronze, everybody starts off as bronze tier. And that's the tier that allows you to bring your own clients onto the platform. From a silver tier, that's when you have the opportunity to help their clients. And at gold, you get the opportunity to help their clients and get paid for the time you spend waiting for customers. And then platinum, there's full-time Ron employment position opportunities. So that's kind of how the tiers break out. So again, you start at bronze, you can get all the way up to platinum, but there are some things that kind of go into your ability to actually reach those different tiers. So let's touch on that more as well. So first things first, in order to kind of move up through the tiers, you have to be invited to move up to the tiers and your ability to move up is based off this criteria that they list out. So let's read through that a little bit. So it says your notary score is calculated by a number of factors, up-to-date credentials, um, the amount of people that are visiting your page, reviews, number of languages you speak fluently, how many sessions you've done, and how many sessions you've done recently, and more. So essentially they want the best of the best, right? People need to say that you're killing it, you need to have good volume, you need to be in good standing. That's what aids in your ability to move up the ranks and move up these different tiers. So that is something to keep in mind if you are looking to go with this platform and move up. So let's go ahead and let's talk availability. So when it comes to availability, it's available in four states, Florida, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. So if you're not in those states, unfortunately, you will not be able to sign up for this platform. So let's go ahead and let's just talk pros and cons. When it comes to pros and cons, there's a few things that I really like about the platform. So one of the things that I like is that, of course, it's a zero dollar sign up fee even when you're bringing your own clients, which I really do like. Um, another one is you can get a discount code for friends and family. So like when somebody comes onto the platform, 
you know, Notary Live is going to charge them $25 to get their document notarized on the platform. Now, if you have a friend or family, you can give them your code and they can give $2 off that. So I do really like that they have the discount codes. And I also like the way that their tier structure is set up because you can essentially start from just being able to bring your clients to a point where even if you're just waiting around, you're getting paid as well. So I do like that there's like various levels of how you can interact with the platform. Now, when it comes to cons, I think for me, biggest one is the $10 per document. I don't love, right? Because if I have a document and it has four seals on it, I'm only getting paid $10. Like it's not necessarily worth my time, but I think that's where you have to assess if you want to bring that transaction onto this platform or onto another one. Like I said, not every platform is great for every type of transaction. So it's just something that you'll need to navigate. And then the second one is that moving up the tiers is invite only. I almost wish it was like checkbox. Do you know what I mean? Like, have you ever been in like a rewards program and they're like, oh, you know, do one more thing and you've moved up the ranks and you've gotten this many points that brings you closer to hitting this reward. I wish the platform was set up like that, where you can kind of see on your dashboard, you know, oh, do three more transactions and three more five-star transactions and all of a sudden you'll move up to the next tier. So I kind of wish that it was structured and set up like that versus this ambiguous criteria because it says like how many languages you're fluent in can also affect it. So like, is that three languages, four languages, five languages? Is it certain languages? Like, I wish it was broken down a little bit more specific so you knew what you're trying to chase after in order to move up. But, but anyways, that is the end of the video. That is the end of part two of me reviewing every run platform that is out there. I hope after reviewing both part one, if you haven't checked that out, please do, and part two, you now know which platform is right for you and you can make the most informed decision when it comes to selecting a platform. Like always, if you have specific questions about a platform, reach out to that platform directly, reach out to your secretary of state or whoever gave you a commission to make sure that platform is available and compliant in your state. But I am hoping that you got a lot of benefit and education out of this video. If you did like the video, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, comment, whatever. And if you have any questions, please feel free to also leave as many comments as you'd like down in the comment section below. Check out the description for links to these platforms as well as any relevant information. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I will catch you in the next one.